I thought you'd come over to my house to do a meetup. Noah? Noah is there? It wasn't what I expected, dude. What's up? I need advice. What do you mean? <sighs> what happened? Since Katie and I broke up, I really felt indifferent to everything. So, I didn't really care. I'm not sure what it is I'm experiencing. Is it normal to feel strange after meeting a guy you haven't seen in a while? Strange how? We've known each other forever, dude. How? This is the lowest I've ever seen you. It's the lowest I've felt, but today when I met Joan after all these years, I felt weird. It's hard to explain. It was more than nostalgic. How so? It's in my stomach. Maybe you need to poop. Uh, well, what's happened? I met him at the park, and it was surreal, but I was so nervous. It's not that. When I saw her and she spoke, my anxiety peaked. I just kept talking and talking. Never gave him a chance to speak. My knees were weak. My palms were sweaty. And what are you eating? Not spaghetti. I just kept rambling. I stared like a fucking creep. I just didn't, didn't know, know how, how to, to react, react in that, that situation. situation. Do you know that feeling? Do you understand? I can't to say I do. Nah, -uh, nope, can't do it. Error 404. Oh. oh. Who are you even talking about? Who did you meet? I swear I thought I told you. I came out to Delaware for Thanksgiving, and I just got back from meeting Noah in person. You're in Middleton? Yeah. Did you want to meet up? I mean, I figure you'd live in the same area if you dated Noah. Uh, maybe? Hold on, I'm sending a text to my boyfriend. Oh, you're dating someone again? Yeah, I'm actually dating Damien. Damon? Yeah, it turns out we live in the same area and go to school together. Well, that's coincidental. Yeah, can't help you there, buddy. Sorry. Hey, man. Hey, Noah, you up for some team doubles? Not right now. Oh, he's just having a panic attack. Fuck you. About what? I just met Joan in person. Really? Yeah, we used to be childhood friends until she moved out west. But she came back for Thanksgiving and we decided to see each other. And Noah's getting all hot and bothered after seeing her. The little tyke. It's not that, goddammit. She's pretty, but it isn't that. You can lust for a person, but to long for their friendship, to want to see them and hear their voice. It's not like on Xbox. The moment... I set eyes on her, my chest got tight, and my stomach started to flutter. <laughs> Dude, you're in love. What? That's love, man. I'm 23 years old. I'm married, and I have a child on the way. I know what you're feeling. I went through it myself. I never had this intense feeling with my previous girlfriend. Was she a bitch? Oh yeah, big time. Well, there you go. I don't know your situation, but I think even if you were dating that last girl, deep down, you knew that chick didn't really care about you. I, even if you lied to yourself just to make yourself seem happy, I mean, did you connect well with that last girl? Not really, no. And how well do you connect with Joan? Pretty well, I think. And you used to know each other. Yeah, but that was so long ago. You have roots. If you were one of her first few good friends, you helped shape the way she views friendships. For instance, if you were a good influence and loyal, she probably learned to be trusting with every new relationship she forms with others, taking people at their word and not treating bad people in a disrespectful manner even if they deserve it. I guess that explains why she and Katie are friends. What's wrong with that? Katie's my ex. Ah, uh, I get Noah you. Noah and Joan sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes divorce. I mean marriage. What are you, eight? Someone's defensive. It's okay to feel this way, man. I know, but it feels weird. Like, I've heard stories of when online friends meet, then they don't talk for a while. I didn't believe it until it happened to me. I want to see her. I want to talk to her, but... And feel awkward. That'll pass with time, man. There's no rush. But 
don't try to avoid her either. If you don't want to fuck things up, that would be the worst possible thing to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Seth. She was wearing the ribbon, too. The one I gave her when we were kids. Bullshit. We took a selfie. I'll have to send you it. You have a friend at the door. Who is it? Mark. Mark? So, Seth, was it? We need to help these two. Yeah? This could be beneficial for Joan. She's been treated badly in the past by guys, but if these two were childhood friends and she feels any inkling of emotion towards him, this situation could be what cracks the shell she put herself in. You think so? I do. And with how going Joan is, she can help Noah overcome his antisocial ways. Besides... A friend from her childhood? That's some Hallmark anime shit, dude. Can you imagine? Oh my god! Noah! What's going on? What the fuck? Noah! Noah! Oh my god. Noah! Noah! Oh my god, Noah! That's that's that. You need, you need to apply pressure. Uh, give me your phone. Come on, come on, pick up! Yes, I'm at 32 Spruce Avenue. My son is unconscious. He's been assaulted with a crowbar. Yes. Yes, my wife is applying pressure. He's non-responsive. I, I need... You need to send someone out here immediately. God, I don't even know if he's breathing. I don't know what happened. I just heard my wife scream and found him on the ground. Oh my god. What? What? What, what happened? Talking on the Xbox. I heard the commotion do with the mic. Is the car where they Don't touch that! There's fingerprints on them. Find out who did this. Right. Sorry. Oh my god. Wanna play some Slayer? Sure. I'll invite Damien. <sighs> hey guys. What's up? You alright? Oh, I was, uh, dang, um, I just got back from a run, and, uh, so what are we playing, Slayer? Yeah, we needed a fourth player before we go into matchmaking. I'll invite Xavier. Oh, hey, I forgot to congratulate you two on dating. That's nice, and I think it's pretty cool how you two met on Reach and found out how close you live to each other. Oh, yeah, it was pretty weird. But fate has a way, right? Say, Damon, have you ever met Noah? Uh... What? Oh, well, Katie and Noah used to date, and they went to the same school, and I figured you might know him too. I've seen him a time or two. Can't say I'm friends with them in the IRL. Well, that makes sense. God, what's taking Xavier so long? Jesus! What were you doing? Sorry, I was... Uh, uh, well... I think I witnessed a murder. The huh? fuck does what? that mean? I was just in the lobby. We were all talking and... While me and a guy were talking, our friend's parents started screaming over the mic. Their son had been assaulted in their own home. What? That's unthinkable. Whose party were you in? Seth and Noah's. Who, who was it that was assaulted? Noah. I recorded it all too. I forgot my pinnacle was still recording. You guys?
Any news? He's conscious, but he's fucked up. Evidently, his eye popped out of his socket, and there's an indent in his head from the hit. This past week, he's had, like, four surgeries. Has he spoken to the police yet? Has he identified who attacked him? Some guy on the math team at our school. Mark Damon. So, anyway, I was thinking maybe this Friday we can see a movie? How does Saw 3D sound? I love the Saw franchise! Great. I'll pick you up at 7 then. Sup, Damien. Ladies. Ready for a round of Slayer? Uh, actually, let me go to the shitter before we start. You should have done that before joining the game. It's fine. There's no rush. What? What for? What's wrong? My parents want to talk to me about the thing between you and me. D did they find out? I'm not sure. I'll be right back. Hmm, what thing could he be talking about, I wonder? Oh, it's nothing. We just, uh, got a scratch on his dad's car. Yeah, he can drive, you know. He's a junior. I'm so impressed. He's a whole whopping year older. What an accomplishment. You got a problem or something? And going on movie dates now. That's cute. What is this, your second, maybe third with a person? Uh, excuse me? I mean, you didn't go out much with Noah, right? Too embarrassed because you thought he was ugly? I don't know what crawled up your twat to make you such a bitch tonight, but I don't like it. You don't know the first thing about what happened between me and Noah. There wasn't much to tell. You wanted someone to play games with, and he thought you liked him. You strung him along to get free games and never actually cared about him. You're just jealous that no one wants to date you. You fucking whore. Yeah, Damien told me all about your little escapades at your school. And now, <laughs> you're desperate. Maybe if you hadn't been used more than Google, you'll be worth a damn. Oh, Damon told you all that. Was that before or after he told you how many times he asked me out? Oh, please. You're the one sending him nudes. <laughs> me? Send him naked photos of myself? <laughs> oh, yeah. He showed me. And you're a fucking land whale. <laughs> this is poetic justice. It really is. What's so funny, Bitch! <laughs> Damon has never seen a single photo of me. All my info online is private and I don't share my phone number with people I've never met in person. My guess is that he took images from Google or something. You've been played, just like you played Noah. Noah's a coward who won't face reality! You're the coward! You dumped him on the game! Couldn't even do it in person. And you're foolish if you think Damon's really into you. That guy's so desperate he'll dive into any pair of legs that spread before him. Doesn't matter if a bitch is attached to them. Damien is more of a man than Noah will ever be. <laughs> because he knows how to drive a fucking car. Oh, big man. You gonna invite him to your table at lunch to show all your little girlfriends what a tough motherfucker he is? Or will you tell him to fuck off the same as Noah? Why do you care so much about fucking Noah? He's a fucking ugly loser! You have an unfair double standard. Noah is far from ugly, nor is he fat as you so graciously depict him. He's not the one who's a fucking size 14. You have no room to judge Noah, you fucking glutton. Fuck you, bitch! I don't know why you even came to me after you met him! I don't fucking know. Maybe I needed another girl's perspective, that's why. I'm far from home and I don't have any girlfriends to confide in. You were supposed to be my friend, but you chose my loser ex. Go die! What's going on? Let's go. Fuck this cunt! Oh, uh... Okay. But I need to talk to you, Katie. It can wait! You're so easily whipped, aren't you, Mark? What? Who told you my first name? I had always figured Damon might be your last name. I thought it was weird we were all on a first name basis except for you. Who told you his name? Noah. 
What? Now you have nothing to say, Katie? Tell me, why might Noah know Damon's first name? Oh, don't tell me you didn't know. Noah's been offline and out of school for almost a week because he was assaulted last Thursday after our meetup. According to Seth, no one knows or cares except the teachers who has to keep the matter quiet. And considering your defensiveness before now, your silence implies you knew. Or rather, you had something to do with it. <sighs> it proves nothing. Bullshit! It could be another Mark. It's a common name. I'm not sure Damon is a common last name in Eastern Delaware. No matter. The perp left the weapon behind, and I'm sure the fingerprints will determine who it is. You didn't take the fucking crowbar with you? I wanted to tell you. Fuck. I'm sorry. You fucking idiot! I never said what weapon was used. Ah, uh, fuck! <sighs> you know what? It doesn't matter. It's not like anyone would believe you. We're in a fucking game! What? Are you going to tell the police some online friends admitted to an assault? You don't have any information about who we really are or where we live. No one would believe you. Well, it's a good thing I was recording then. Xavier. The fuck, man? If I send this video to the Middleton police along with your online profiles, they can easily subpoena Microsoft to get your information. Be easy since your credit card info is likely tied to your accounts. And even if you got rid of it, they could track your IP of where your Xbox is most frequently logged in. Either way, they'll know it's you too. You mean Damien? What? You hit him! I had nothing to do with it! You fucking bitch! I only did it because you asked me to. <laughs> you didn't have to do it! Well, you're gonna fucking pay up if I gotta go to jail because of you. Come near my house and I'll fucking call the cops! At school then. I don't give a shit. I'll tell the administrations. Katie, I hate to break it to you, but when the cops get a hold of your phone and see that you texted Damien about this incident, you'll be in a heap of trouble yourself. Conspiracy to commit a crime is also a crime. And what if I didn't text him? I'm sure the phone company keeps a recording of all your phone calls for a certain period of time. And what if I didn't use the phone? Huh, smart guy? What then? I'll just deny it, and they'll be none of the wiser. True. But I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm still recording. And I'm sure a court will find your demeanor just now to be a convincing admission of guilt. Katie? No! No! I'm too young to go to jail! <laughs> well, if I'm going to jail, I'm getting the pussy that cunt fucking promised me. Oh my god, I I'm not sure who I feel worse for. Damien or Katie? They brought it upon themselves. How's Noah? He's fine. Seth gave me his number earlier, and we've been texting back and forth. I'll be going to see him tomorrow at the hospital. I'll email you a link of this recording, so you can turn it over to the police while you're in Middleton. Thank you, Xavier. I really appreciate it. Ah, don't mention it. Really? In the middle of class? Yeah. It was during algebra. <laughs> Funny thing was, the cop who asked me all the questions was the cop making the arrest. <laughs> As she started the waterworks, he turned and gave me a wink. Fucking savage! And Damon? Heard they got that asshole as he made a run for it in PE. <laughs> Dumbass. Isn't it strange to arrest them during the school day? Not sure. I guess once the evidence was confirmed, they didn't care when the arrest was made. I heard from someone in town that Damon's getting a sexual assault charge. Evidently, he tried something on Katie. Jesus Christ. What's up, guys? There you two are. Hey, guys! Yep. Walking along the beach. That's a freaking cliche, man. Shut up. I think it's sweet. Oh, by the way, how much longer are you going to be in Middleton? It's been like two weeks. Not that I'm complaining or anything, just curious. Oh, my dad's getting transferred back here for work, and my parents have been looking for houses. Oh, I see. 
Have you guys found anything yet? Just this little place on Spruce Avenue. Our old house, Noah. We're going to be neighbors again. You guys want to play some matchmaking? Hell yes. I've been in the hospital all week and thrown back to school. Let's kick some ass. Fuck yeah, man. I hate this fucking game! Fuck! We went a good, what, two weeks without these assholes fucking up our shit? That was fun while it lasted. Yeah, I won't lie. I'm not having any fun playing this game anymore. You guys want to go play Call of Duty or something? Might as well. <laughs> what do you say, Cade? I just want to go back. I love this game, but they make it no fun. Why are they so good? I hate these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Embrace the suck. They're quitting by the droves. Fucking pussies. That's the last fucking time, Freddy. Go get my gun. No! I said go get my gun. Freddy, shut the fuck up. Damn. Game started five minutes ago and we've almost won. And those two are still in party chat. Wish I knew what they were talking about. <laughs> They're probably shit talking us. Man, you and I are neck and neck. That week at the hospital made you rusty. Yeah, well, I got a lot on my mind. Yeah? Like what? Well, with you moving in across the street, I mean, well. Hey, Noah. Yeah? You want to go out sometime? As friends? Mm, no. As super friends? Super no. As super duper- God damn it, as a date, Noah. Oh. All I had to do was ask. <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs>